As I've said in all the videos in this series, this is a series. There should be an annotation on the screen to the playlist if you haven't watched them already. Check them out. We've been playing with said and we've been working with it to modify files and the output of files. Uh, today we're going to look at how to use said kind of like its head. Uh, if you're familiar with the head command, well, let's have a quick look here. I can use cat to cat out a file. I'll use my text to file since it's numbered, most part, line five doesn't have anything on it. Um, I can say head text to, and by default, head displays 10 lines, which there are 10 lines in my file. Uh, but I can give head, if there were more than 10, it would only display the first 10. I can also say dash n and say five, and it would only, sorry, dash five, and it would show only the first five lines or the first two lines. Uh, and we can do this with said too. Now, obviously, you know, if this is all you're trying to do, a head would probably be a better option. It's uh, usually always there. Um, but, uh, you know, as you get more complex things going with said, you may want to uh, use it to display only the first part of the line and then modify those with a second part of said rather than starting a head process and a said process. It's just two different ways of doing stuff. And in fact, speaking of two different ways of doing stuff, I'm going to show you how to do this in said two different ways. Let's clear the screen here. Uh, so what I can do is I can say said, and then inside our quotations, our single quotes here, although I, th I think you use double quotes too, I just tend to use single quotes, um, we are going to uh, say, well, there's already 10 lines in that file, so let's just say four. We want to show four, and then we can say dollar sign D, and of course out here give the name of our file. Let's see if that works, and then I'll explain it. Okay, so you'll notice that it only displayed the first three lines. And if I change this to five, it will display the first four lines. The reason for this, what it's doing, and you may be able to guess if you've been watching our series, is we're using said. Now, five obviously means five lines, even though we're only getting four. Uh, and then we have a dollar sign and the D. Now, you should know, if you've been following the series, that dollar sign means find the end of line, find a, you know, like basically a new line character, kind of. A little different, but you know, end of line, find the end of line, and then here it's saying D, which we know D means delete. So, what this is saying is go to line five, and then any line that has an end of line character, which is every line starting at line five, delete it. So, since we're starting at five, and then we're checking once we get to five for end of line, we're saying you know, delete five as well. So, that's one way of doing it. Uh, there is an easier way that I'm about to show you. Um, but again, as we get more complex, this uh, will come into use in getting more complex commands, so I wanted to show you that. But a, another way of doing it is simply to say the number of lines, so if we want to display four lines, this time we actually type four space Q. And what that's saying is said, do whatever you're doing until line four, and then after you get, you know, you finish line four, Q means quit. So there we go. And of course you can put in, you know, whatever number you want, line six, line seven. So again, um, this is obviously a simpler answer, but uh, we're gonna get a little more into this, I think, in future tutorials, and there's more you can do with this, and that's why I wanted to display it. So we'll review these two commands again. We're saying said, go to line five, and then delete every line from line five and on. That's why you only get four, because we're on line five and we're deleting it. This command here is saying said, display the first, or do whatever, but display the first four lines of command uh, of the file and then quit. So that's two ways to make said act similar to head. And again, if you're just trying to display the first certain number of lines of the file, head might be a better option, but we can incorporate this as we've seen. You can put more than one command into said, so you may want to look at the first four lines you know, do something to them and then quit. Um, so that's why you kind of need to know this. Uh, so, and the more you know, the, the better you're off you are because, you know, you might come across a situation that requires this. So, uh, again, I thank you for watching. Visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. If you're enjoying these videos, let me know by liking and commenting below. If you have questions, technical questions uh, about using said or any other scripting whatever. Uh, comments are not the best place to put them. 
be sure to visit my IRC channel. I'm not always in there. There's usually somebody around, but you may not get a response right away. Ask your question, hang out, see if someone answers it. There's also probably a said IRC channel that if we can't help you, they might be able to help you. Um, but my IRC channel is a great place to hang out, learn, talk to people. Uh, if you come in there, plan on coming in and hanging out. Don't come in, ask a question, then leave. It's, it's, it, I want you guys to be like part of the community and just hang out. Um, and uh, again, check out the rest of this playlist, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K, and have a great day.